cutting paper. The first thing we have to do is make sure we're holding our scissors correctly. There's a place for your thumb and a place for your other fingers, either two or three. You put your thumb in the small hole and two or three fingers in the larger hole. When you cut, you always keep your scissors pointing away from you. You never want to have them turned around towards you or sideways. Cut straight forward. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these shapes apart without cutting on the line first so that we have individual papers. So I'm just going through slowly cutting open close open close cutting my shapes apart far away from the line and i'm going to start with my straight line shapes like my rectangle square and triangle i'm going to cut slowly on the dashed line i can either cut straight off the edge or i can turn my paper See how I turn my paper, my scissors are still facing away from me. I'm gonna cut off the edge here. I'm gonna do the same to finish my rectangle. This is easier when you're just learning to cut rather trying than trying to turn that corner. Now for my square, once again on the line, off the side. When you cut, cut slowly. I'm cutting my triangle. I go off the side of the paper, go slowly on the line, off the edge of the paper, and for my final cut. With my oval, I keep my scissors pointed away from me. I don't wanna turn them sideways. I keep them pointed straight ahead and I cut slowly and I use my other hand that doesn't have the scissors to turn the paper as I'm cutting. This takes a lot of practice. So go slowly and do your best. Same thing on the circle. Scissors pointed away from me and I use my hand that's holding the paper to turn the paper, scissors point straight ahead. And I open close slowly. Now I have torn paper shapes and I have my cut paper shapes. I'm going to arrange them or place them on my paper in different ways um, to make a piece of art. I'm going to try a few different things before I decide to glue them down. See, I have a house, a tree, and a moon. Let's try again. Maybe if I rearrange it, I can have a rocket. What does this look like? Maybe an ice cream cone? Why not? A cherry. I have a circle head, an oval body, torn paper for a beak, triangle for a wing, and a little tail made a bird. I can turn those sideways and make some kind of an animal. All I have to do is cut up one of my scraps to make legs. And there's a nose. I can use crayons later to draw the eyes. And I have an animal I could add big ears to make a dog. I could add little ears to make a cat. One more. I'm using my square for a head, rectangle for a body, and I'm gonna make some kind of guy here. Rah, he's pretty cool. Pretty cool. When it's time to glue, I make sure 
that my glue works, but I do not want that glue sticking up very far. I put glue on the back of my paper, flip it over, and press down. You always put the glue on the paper shape, not the background. Once I glue down my shapes, I'll have a finished piece of art to take home. But wait, if there's time, there's more. You can use crayons to add details to your picture. using torn and cut paper. Can't wait to see what you're going to make. <laughs>